and the next thing that we want to do is we need to update it so let's go down i think we already have an option to save this particular record right so we have a date picker and then we have a add employee so we will rename this one to edit employee and then what we will do is instead of calling db.insert we will call the update right so we will call the call the update entity and yeah it's the same thing that we are going to pass in so we also need to pass in the id over here that will be the widget dot the id that we are getting and i we need to wrap in inside the drift dot value drift dot the value that we have and we will wrap inside okay so we got that one and here we will say um employee right so employee updated employee updated so that should be fine and okay so i think that should be the one that we are just need and then we will go on to the top over here and we have to call that whenever we press this save button we need to update it right so sorry up update the up it's sorry not the update it's it edit the employee okay so i think that should be fine any other thing that we have to change i think no right so only is the thing that we just have to call in and pass the this request the update employee request employee companion we already have in so make sure you just pass in the id over here so let's uh, rebuild our application and uh, let's do something for this one right so the record id one we will update the name over here right so let's update it so i'll just update to demo one and this one should be also demo one and that this should be also demo one that should be fine and just save this one okay so we got the error i think so here we got the error on the null value so why we are getting that particular null value over here so that is the error we are getting so where is that yeah particular data but this is a null value so uh, we need to select particular date also i think so let let us select the date and just set, set the date and just click on okay and just try to save this one yeah now we have updated it so just go back and uh, we need to hot reload in order to okay so we got that demo one so uh, i think that should be fine so we have to uh, also update the uh, the, the this particular data but right so otherwise we are not going to set it right so because this is a null nullable value this doesn't accept the null value so if you want to make it to accept a nullable you have to uh, remove this value uh, set this as a nullable and remove this field from here and uh, yeah i think that should be fine and mm, everything should be done and the next thing is that we want to validate the form right so we also need to validate that whether the the form is filled in or not so like let's say if i go to add employee and if i try to save in then we should get an error that this form is not a valid so that will be on the next one i think or before that we will be doing something like a ed delete so we'll just add one more button over here and we will set it to delete so let's do it in the next one till then have a great day